Look at her. 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 Hey everyone, good morning and welcome back to another vlog. Um, today is Thursday, December 14th. It is currently 8.54 and we have a lot of things to do today, girl. First of all, we have six clients today. I know, I don't know, I don't know how that happened, but so I need to set up. Um, I'm gonna show you guys quickly about the products that I'm gonna use right now. Um, we're gonna do a lot of B-roll footage today because we have six clients. I'm sure I'll have breaks in between, but I'm not really gonna vlog. It's just gonna be a full day of like B-roll footage and lots of more of lash with me's or like mini lash with me's inside my blog using like the overhang tripod which i need to go get that's in my car and i'll link that down below in case anyone's interested because i always get asked what um tripod i use to film my videos mia needs dog food so we need to go get that and then i also need a step stool because i did raise up my lash bed really really high because i'm noticing that that helps with my back pain a lot more i love when the client is literally almost eye level to me it just it's so much easier to lash. I also need to go to like Target, or probably gonna go to Target to get like the step stool and stuff and her food um, because I need to get bleach pots so that I can wash my whites because tomorrow, which is Friday, we have a flight. Um, we're leaving to San Antonio, Texas to go see my best friend and my goddaughter. So I'm so excited because I haven't seen them in so long, but I need to come home and pack everything. Because my flight's at 10, 17. So that means that I need to be there by like, nine-ish which means i need to wake up like five-ish so that i can leave the house by like 6 30 ish yeah i know crazy i need to wash my hair and then wrap it in my overnight blowout so that give me okay i gotta go hey guys and welcome back to another mini tutorial oh my gosh it's been so long since i done one and i really wanted to bring them back so first things first we're starting off with the hand sanitizer and then using rvi's gel pads i told you guys if there's one thing that or actually two things that i'm definitely gonna be using from bi still is their gel pads and their tape however i did run out of their gel pads and i did run out of their tape later on in this vlog but i used the last ones that i have because i just love them so much and i have an order coming in so first things first we're doing a, a wet set infill and we need to go ahead and remove any old lashes um get them nice and prepped and ready to go i am going to go ahead and use some tape to kind of pull back the client's skin because with more mature skin it tends to sag on the eyelids so we just want to pull that skin up to reveal the lashes and take them off the tape a little bit i am going to go ahead and prime now i've been doing this lately i know i said i'm never gonna prime but you know what girl things change and i'm only priming because she came in with oily eyelids normally you guys i've told you before i don't prime i just never really found the benefit to priming however with um kara sky's new primer it has a different alcohol percentage than most i'm honestly don't know at the top of my head but i've been doing a lot of like trial and error with primers and i really like this one when it comes to oily eyes so i went in and i infilled all the lashes and then i'm taking super bonder on a micro swab which i am testing out if i like the micro swab more or the little experiment with the nano mister um, if you guys see my other vlog we did do an experiment on this and i've noticed that doing it with the micro swab is actually a lot more beneficial and we can definitely talk about that in another vlog or even another video um, but i'll definitely put this client's mapping down below um, super easy it's just a basic hybrid wet infill and then i'm going to pause it right here so you guys can hear my client's reaction to her set because i just think it's so cute pretty cool oh yeah what do you i did more of like a hybrid -y today which means that i added like because usually you just get a wet yeah. which is like a closed closed fan so i added some open fans to give you some um fullness a little bit just because like i said you have a lot more baby lashes than normal yeah. just so you get that coverage yeah, i really like them oh they, perfect they they, look, I, I like more natural uh -huh. and i feel like they do look more natural yeah really oh because they're just like a slightly fuller than what you get maybe really? yeah i think oh, what well, it makes i think, I like I think like what this. it makes it look natural is i don't have to use so much wet it's more just fan so it looks more soft yeah. but coverage you know Good, good. No, I definitely like these. Yeah, this is it? Yeah, is this the new set? Nice. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, cool. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. First client done. 
Um, it is 10.39. Um, I've been done for like almost 30 minutes now, but I've just been like chilling and like I cleaned everything up, threw a couple things away. I do have to go take out my trash right now and take Mia to go to the bathroom because I think she's on her period and she's being like oddly lazy. Are you okay? Your tummy hurting? Do you have cramps? Yeah. I'm sorry. I wish there was dogging my doll for you. Real quick though. Why isn't nobody talking about these? These are fire. These are so good. The thing with me though, I don't have self-control and I pretty much almost ate the whole container. And I only have a couple left, but these are like way better than the asteroids. These are way better than hot Cheetos to me. Like the flavor, like so good. And it doesn't hurt my stomach. Mm. Our next client is a volume fill, Miss Nayeli. She is at 11. She's just a basic volume fill. And she usually has amazing superior retention. So I'm really excited to lash her. It should only take me like 45 minutes to do her fill. Yeah, lots of B-roll footage, lots of lash with me's in this vlog because I haven't really done any of those or like my mini tutorials in my vlogs. I have an overhang tripod that I'm gonna go get from my car right now too and I will link that down below just in case you guys are interested because that is like the number one question that I get is like where or how do you film your videos? And honestly, it's just that big old tripod that like goes over and it's like a crane where I could really have the camera like right above their heads perfectly and where like my head is not really getting in the way. Super awesome, got that off of Amazon. Mia needs dog food, so we're gonna run to Target. And then we're also going to get a step stool for my, excuse me, um, my lash bed. So I'm not sure if you guys can like kind of see, but my lash bed is extremely tall. Like if I were to stand up, it's like, to my hip so i like it like that because i love when my client's head is like about right here chest level to me let's get you guys back a little so when i'm lashing i'm about here and i could adjust my chair if i need to come a little lower this is as low as it goes which is perfect or if i do need to go higher then i can be a little bit higher so i love the fact that i can make the chair go as low as possible and it is perfectly chest level to me. It's been helping a lot with my back. And um, yeah, so my bed is from Amazon. The cushion underneath is from Walmart. I got this blanket from Amazon. This cover is from Amazon. My saddle seat is from Amazon. I will link everything down below. It's also in my storefront. Um, so is my light. Everything is from Amazon, but yeah so we're going to target so that i can get like a stepping stool because my clients have to like jump on the bed and yeah it's funny especially with my short girls like it's hard to get up here so we do have to go get a step stool i need to get bleach pods because i need to wash my white clothes um i'm getting everything prepped and ready to go because tomorrow we have a flight at 10 in the morning well 10 17 and we're leaving to san antonio texas to go see my best friend and my goddaughter so i'm super excited about that because I haven't seen them in a very long time. So um, yeah, our flight leaves at 10, 17. So I wanna be there like around nine-ish so that I can kind of relax, chill, make sure that I'm all checked in and ready to go. Um, I don't wanna feel rushed, but I'm barely packing the night. I know, I've just been so busy. So I have to go home, wash clothes, pack everything. And then um, I need to wash my hair and blow dry it so I can do my overnight blowout so that way I'm not in the rush in the morning. Yeah, so I'll be done by like 11 o'clock at night, 10. And then I have to wake up the next morning at like, I wanna say like around 5.30 to be out my house by like 6.30 to get to LAX by like nine. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, and that's not a lot. Um, that's what's gonna be on this vlog and then I'm not coming back, so I leave Friday and I'm not coming back till Tuesday the 19th. Um, and hopefully by then, my couch will be in. My boyfriend got me my couch that I've been dying for on Amazon. It's like the viral one on TikTok. I'll go ahead and insert like the little TikTok or whatever for you guys. Um, but I've been really, really wanting that couch. I think it's so cute. I heard amazing reviews. And I'm kind of like, I wanna finish up my home 
I was able to hang up my TV. I have my Christmas decorations that I'm gonna show you guys later in my home. It just looks super cute and cozy, but I'm missing my couch. So he bought me like the three seater and then he doesn't know that I bought the love seat too because he was gonna get that for me as well. But I was like, I'm not waiting. <laughs> so I got a love seat and then I got a um, coffee table. So my living room is gonna be so cute and put together. So I'm definitely gonna vlog that for you guys. I'll link everything down below as well. But um, yeah. So I'm just gonna wait for my next client and let you guys watch me lash. And then we'll jump on when we're going to Target. So, yeah. All right, moving on to client number two, which is a beautiful volume fill. Again, I will leave all the mapping down below. There's only about four points to this set. Um, but I really love doing Miss Nile's lashes because as you guys can see, retention is fire. She knows how to take care of her lashes. We prep them nice and good and the lashes last. As you can see here, we have like a super outgrown eyelash. Um, I do like to use like the twist off method, which means you grab the lash by the base and you kind of wiggle it and pull it off. Or I might even do the banana pill method. Lately, I've been liking grabbing the natural lash and kind of wiggling it and popping it off. That's just kind of been like my favorite way to go ahead and pop off some of those outgrown. Um, I did go in and prime. Now, she always has an amazing retention, so I'm gonna test out if primer really does make a difference on a client, so stay tuned for that. I will have the update for you guys on the next vlog coming up, but um, I am prepping her, so that means we're going in and we are priming using two micro Micro swabs. I'll go ahead and apply a droplet onto my micro swab and then let the rest of it sink into a clean micro swab and then we infill. Now as you guys can see here I'm starting with our outer corner so I always go in and start lashing wherever it's easiest for me to start lashing when it comes to fills. If I have to start in the inner corner do I want to start in the middle? Do I want to pull back the layers to expose the bottom layer but as far as right now it was just a lot easier for me to start in the outer corner because they had a, she had a really huge gap in this outer corner so i did take some tape and as you guys can see i pulled the lashes more towards like a 45 degree angle towards her left side of her face kind of gearing towards her nose this has just been really helpful to kind of expose those outgrown um i'm sorry those lashes in the outer corner and when just filling them in i do like to use more narrow fans for her and i'm using 14s i believe in her outer corner if not 13s it is a really awkward open eye <laughs> as you guys can see on her left eye with the mapping it's like really short in the inner corner we have a little bit of a gap and then we have a huge gap in the center of her eye and then towards her outer corner we drop back down again all mapping and everything that we use will be linked down below in the description box but that's just how i've been really liking to do this particular client's fills or again just whatever's easier so i'm just going in i'm isolating putting down our narrow fans we did use 0.03 cc curl and i believe my fan width is probably about a 25d maybe 18d somewhere around there pretty full pretty fluffy you guys can't really tell on camera because i'm using my vlogging camera but she really does have extremely nice thick long lashes so i have a wide range to play with when it comes to making my fans sometimes i'll make them a little bit more fuller sometimes i'll make them more of a lighter fan depending on the natural lash and again we are filling in that outer corner not too much but just enough i don't go so far into the outer corner because i notice that that tends to droop clients eyes um, let me know in the comment section down below if you do that as well do you stop at a certain point in the outer corner or do you lash the whole outer corner um, and now as you guys can see here we're going in in the center and i'm using two pieces of tape to push and center out those lashes that I need to isolate and I need to infill in. Just makes it so much easier for me. I always work in sections, especially with fills, just to make it a lot easier for me to isolate. You guys are always asking me, how do I make my sets or how do I get faster with my sets? How do I make my sets fuller? How do I make sure I'm giving my coverage? Well, using your tape to your advantage and making sure that you're isolating properly so you can really expose those natural lashes that need to be lashed. And then as you can see here, you don't even have to really go in and like isolate with your tweezer. Sometimes those lashes are just perfectly exposed for me to go ahead and apply a fan on. Okay, 
Let's talk inner corner eyelashes real quick because it's also a very, very hot topic and I need to do an individual video on each section because literally each section needs its own tutorial. But real quick, when it comes to, out, to inner corners, it is all about hand placement and fan placement. So when I'm applying my lash in my inner corner, I am making sure that the angle is going towards the direction of the nose. So if I'm working on the right eye, my wrist angle needs to be slightly turn towards the left and if I'm working on the left eye and in the inner corner my angle needs to be slightly towards the right pointing towards the nose. I hope that makes sense. Like I said guys if you guys would like me to do a whole in-depth video about inner corners we definitely can because it, it does need its own video. It's it's hard I know but I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so here we are we're done and again applying that super bonder with our micro swab. I am using the Kira Sky Super Bonder, which has been my new favorite. Again, you guys, I don't have to be using these products right now. I'm not getting paid to talk about these products. I'm not getting paid to use the products. I'm not even getting commission yet for using their products. I deeply have fallen in love with Kira Sky. I don't work with them until, well, now that you're seeing this video up in January. Um, but even before then, I was using Kira Sky for almost two months. So. You guys, Kira Sky is definitely blowing me out of the water. I really, really love their products. And especially when you see my client open up her eyes right now, I don't know about you guys, but I can see such a huge difference in the fluff of the lashes. They're just so much more fuller and they definitely have like this, I don't know, I can't explain it, but it's just so beautiful and I absolutely love them. And then here I am here making sure that I, you know, Lash Tech Mill, Top Robin. And tell me why this bowl is from Dollar Tree. These Top Robins or Instant Robins or Cup of Noodle things are so good. The flavor is so bomb and there's so much in this little bowl and it comes with like this vegetable stuff. I don't know, but these are so freaking good. I don't even know why I included it in this vlog, but you know, I just, was, I just had to show you guys that even in between sets, I still will eat like shit because as long as I eat food, I'm happy. So anyways, moving on to our next lash fill, which is this nice volume fill. And it's just a nice, pretty open eye. And I don't know if you guys ever, have ever had clients, but this client only has two layers of lashes. Have you guys ever experienced that before? Because it's funny because today in this vlog, I have both of my clients that only have two layers to their lashes which makes it super easy to do like fills and volume full sets but i don't know it just amazes me lashes will continue to amaze me all the time just seeing everybody's different eye shapes and different lashes and curls and and layers like the client before had like four layers and then she comes in and she only has two so anyways let's move on to we're gonna go ahead and apply i did not prime this client she always comes in with clean lashes she doesn't have oily eyelids so i didn't feel the need to do that but we're just going ahead and applying our lashes like so doing a little bit of a wiggle move we are doing more of narrow fans um mapping is down below we did use 0.03 c curl in our cashmere line from kira sky and I just love doing her lashes. She has extremely big eyes. So that's why we do an open eye and why we use a C curl because one, the C curl gives her that dark lash line because if we do a CC curl, it makes her eyes look even bigger. So if you have a client who has relatively big eyes and you kind of want to even them out, kind of make them look a little smaller, try using a C curl on your client next time and see how that works for you. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go ahead and lash. And like I told you guys earlier, I do lash in the section that is the easiest to lash. So for this particular client, I did pull back the layer in the inner corner first, and that's the section that I'm working in. She has extremely easy lashes to lash. So this set literally probably took me, usually her fills usually take me 30 to 45 minutes. I'm not even kidding you guys. I definitely have to do a video where I just like time myself and show you guys how easy it is to fill in sets. Quite frank too, my clients have been coming to me now for almost four years. I've been having the same clients for almost four years. I'm so blessed, but I already know their eye shapes, what they like, what they don't. So the more that you do this, the more you get into this industry, the easier lashing becomes. I feel like everybody's trying to find that quick, easy maneuver 
thing that's gonna like make this big difference on your speed and it's not even about that it's just all about coverage it's about placement it's about direction understanding your glue and just understanding your client's eye shape the more that you do her lashes the more comfortable you'll feel and the more you'll understand what your client wants and what she doesn't i always go in and ask after every single set what what does my client need? Does she need something more? Does she need something less? Did I go too far in the inner corner this time? Is the lashes not looking as full as normal? Is she having shed? You know, so you really learn this by just experience. Um, take your time with your sets. Give quality. You don't want to care about the quantity of time that you're taking on your set. So we're just going to go ahead and infill her and then set her lashes and we'll jump by, right back on for our next client.
Okay, fifth client of the day. I didn't really do any voiceover for my previous client because it was literally so simple. It was just a volume fill, just follow the mapping down below. But I did wanna jump on for this one. So this is a wet set fill. Um, and I want you guys to pay attention to the mapping. So I did use Decurl 0.03 eight through 12. Normally for wet sets, I do like to use a 0.07. However, this particular client, her lashes are relatively on the weaker side. So they're not too weak to the point where I can't lash them, but they're definitely not the most healthiest lashes, but she has a lot. So if you have run into a client who has um, not a lot of lashes, and I wish I was more in focus so you guys can kind of see the detailing of her lashes, but to reference what her lash diameter would be like it would probably be like a 0.12 so with that being said i don't want to go too heavy on her lashes and compromise the integrity of, of the lashes that she already has so i am using 0.03 that way i can make my wet set fans a little bit thicker as opposed to if i used a 0.07 or even a 0.05 <clears throat> and that's what I excuse me and that's what I really love about wet sets and about lashing in general is that every single lash is so reversible for everybody like you can make them thicker um, you can make them less fuller you can make them smaller or you can um, what is what am I trying to say <laughs> You can make the lashes thicker or less thicker depending on the client's natural lashes. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so yeah, so it's just um, 0.03. As far as reference as the diameter goes of like the D, if it was a fan, I would say I'm picking up probably like seven lashes, which sounds like a lot. But if you think about it, if you really look at a 0.03 under a microscope, it's not. So um, again, I hope that really like that little tip and trick helped you guys, especially if you have somebody who has a little bit of weaker lashes or even somebody who wants a fuller wet set, use 0.03s instead of using 0.07s or 0.05s. And as you guys can see here, it's really full. We have a dark, dense lash line, but again, we're still keeping the integrity of my client's lashes. I love doing this little hack or this little trick, but like I said, let me know down below in the comments section if you found that helpful. Um, again, whatever you guys need, if you guys ever have any questions, I always try to get back to my comments and yeah. So let's jump right into our next one. But look at that, as you could see, super effortlessly wispy because again, every single lash is unique and customly tailored to my client. So moving on to our wet hybrid fill. These are my absolute favorite lashes to do. I love doing wet hybrid fill. So it's what a wet hybrid fills is what it is. It is a wet set mixed with a volume. So hybrid. Typically a hybrid is a classic mixed with a wet set, however, or mixed with, I'm sorry, a classic mixed with a volume. But lately I've been mixing my wet fans with my volume fans and I love it. So we're using 0.03 and 0.07 for this client. She only has two layers, you guys. It is insane. Again, so crazy meeting people and different clients and their different lash styles and lengths and different eye shapes. And this particular lash client literally has only two layers. I mean, she technically kind of has like a third, but it may be like one or two lashes if that. So I guess technically, yes, she has three layers. But other than that, the majority of her lashes sit at the top and middle layer technically or bottom layer. It is just, again, insane. So um, the reason why I like playing around with different diameters and sets is because they give an effort, an effortlessly wispy look without putting too much effort. So mixing the 0.07 and the 0.03, the 0.03 fans are what's going to give it that fluffy look and the 0.07s is what's going to give it that dense look. So it kind of creates like little spikes in a way without again having to do so much work. I just pick up my wet fan and apply it um, and then I apply my volume fan. So again with hybrids it should be one wet fan to a volume fan to one wet fan to a volume fan and you just repeat that pattern throughout the whole eye shape and then you get this really pretty effortlessly beautiful wet wispy set so again let me know down below and as you guys can see here i do get stickies um i do try not to edit out anything or imperfections in my vlogs or my videos because i want them to be super raw and real 
Um, I still make mistakes. I've been lashing for about five years. I still get a sticky from time to time. I still get lashes that need to come off that I place wrong. And when I brush, sometimes a lash or two may pop off. It's completely normal. Please don't get down on yourself. Um, again, with your sets, always rush quality over perfection. Like you just wanna give them good uniformity, good shape, good direction and flow. And yeah, so as always finishing off, I am trying doing using the OG Nano Mister on this particular client. She has amazing retention. She comes to me every three weeks, which I love. I love that for her and I love her for that. She takes really good care of her lashes. Her lashes always hold up really, really well. So I kind of didn't want to try anything new on her. So we're sticking with just the Nano Mister with some Kira Sky Super Bonder inside. And these are the final results. I love it so much. I think it really, you know, helps with her beautiful, big almond eyes. She is, I believe, Filipino. Um, so she has that, you know, chinky look to her, but also kind of like that Mexican look to her. I don't know, they just look so good. So yeah, that's the end of this mini tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed these mini tutorials. Let me know if you want me to continue doing them down below. Love you guys. Hey guys, I'm back home now, and I did switch into something more comfortable, just like sports bra, sweats, and then I'm also waist training because one, my back is kind of hurting from all the clients that I had today, and two, home curl came to town, and I'm bloated, so. Um, I did get back, we did run and grab Mia's food. Also, um, also, I'm not sure if you guys can tell or not, but my, wide angle lens thing that I bought from Amazon came off. I was messing around with it too hard and it popped off. Um, and I kind of noticed that because the screw was a little loose, so that's my fault. So I'm not as wide as I would have been, but who cares? So, something very exciting just got here. And I think I was telling you guys about it earlier. If not, my boyfriend got me my infamous couch for Christmas. That's all I wanted. He was like, what do you want for Christmas? And I said, a couch. And he, I don't have a couch. He was like, you don't want jewelry or something? I'm like, no, I want a couch. So he ended up getting me the three seater. And then the love seat, I believe, is coming in next week. So shout out to my man. Thank you to my man. Um, but it did arrive today. So I have my little cousin here with me as well. And we are going to bump some Christmas music. And then I have the lights going really pretty in the house. We are making Christmas cookies. And we're gonna put the couch together. So I'm gonna let you guys watch it and let, let you guys watch us struggle a little bit too, putting the couch together. So um, yeah, really excited. So I'm gonna prop you guys up and we're gonna build this couch, girl. So. is from Amazon it's the infamous um, viral $300 it's not $300 though it's like more like $400 TikTok couch that I saw that I've been wanting I'm going for more of like an aesthetic thing in my house rather than like a big old sectional I mean there's not a lot of people who live here so I just didn't see the point so I think this one is perfect like I said the love seat is coming in next week as well as rude next week as well as the coffee table. So we're gonna go ahead and open up this and let you guys watch us put it together.
here's progress so far because my battery's gonna die, so I have to charge it. But oh my god, can you guys see it already coming to life? Okay, everyone, it is finally done. Finally, have the couch up, and it is so cute. It matches perfectly with my bar stools. It matches perfectly with the vibe here in my house, and it just looks amazing. So, let's go ahead and show you guys. Tell me it's not stunning. So, the cushions do have to fluff out a little bit more. It said give it like 72 hours for them to go ahead and like fluff out a little bit. But honestly, I think it's perfect for this space. I can't wait for the love seat to come in and the, what is it called, the coffee table, but the house is finally starting to look a little bit together. Still have a little bit of work to do. We bought both of those little credenzas to go up and I do have some cute Christmas decor. I just need to hang that mirror. I wanna get a entertainment center shelf thing to hang up right there, but it's definitely coming together. And I wanted to show you guys like the Christmas tree and everything, but I'm in love. It was super easy to put together. We did have a little oopsie where I kind of put something in a little bit wrong, but it was super easy to adjust. The instructions were extremely easy. The shipping was really, really good. I think it's perfect. I feel like you can't even tell that I got it from Amazon unless I told you. So I think, I don't know, it's just a perfect piece. I'll definitely have the link down below in case anyone is interested. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do some B-roll footage and then we'll jump back on in a little bit when I'm done. isn't bored until 9 47 but this was my first time flying by myself so i was like super scared so i got here like extremely early and then like my boarding pass birthday didn't match the birthday on my passport id so i had to run you guys can't see shit um so i couldn't get um i couldn't get on so i was like freaking out about that and i just did not want to be late but um I still have an hour and 27 minutes. I did grab some food and I got ready in the restroom. Um, because I was early, I did not look like this earlier. I looked like a hot fucking mess, but I'm just waiting to board my flight. But yeah, so yeah, we'll see you guys when we get on the plane.
it is the next day. Um, actually, no, it's like two days later. I'm sorry. I haven't really been vlogging. I've just been enjoying the moment with my goddaughter. There she is. Come here, Novi. You want to come say hi? Want to come say hi? This is my goddaughter. Hi. Yeah, hi. And I've just been enjoying every single moment that I'm here. So I haven't really been vlogging hi. a lot. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> um, so today is her birthday. Say happy birthday to Nobly. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> she turns three today. Happy birthday! <laughs> yes, it's your birthday! I want to jump. Oh, I know we're gonna go jump. So it's her third birthday, so we're gonna go to like a jumper park thing, house thing, where we're gonna be jump. jumping and there's gonna be all kinds of obstacles and stuff. So I'm super excited. So I thought that I would go ahead and take you guys with us on that and get some like fun footage. Um, but yeah, and then tomorrow, not really sure what we're doing. Um, we might go and see some lights, maybe walk around the river walk. Um, but today should be really fun to celebrate the baby girl. So, um, we want to record her act reaction because we did kind of set up a little bit for her downstairs. So, one second. Well, we jump. Look at that makeup. 